Hello everyone and welcome to the SharePoint Developer Training Course Programming c 4.0. Today's lesson is Lesson 11 and we're going to be talking about the switch statement. So let's go ahead and uh, get started. Uh, we're first going to be talking about the switch, then we're going to be showing you what, how to fall through a switch, and then we're going to talk about the go-to. So, first of all, what is a switch statement? Well, if you remember from the previous lesson, we talked about the uh, if, uh, if, else, and nested if statements, and we saw that when uh, there was a lot of logic, especially in some of the nested stuff, it became somewhat confusing. The switch statement really allows us to uh, to simplify some of those uh, or some of that complex logic. I feel like the best way to show this is simply to uh, you know show by example. So we'll go ahead and get started. So first, let's go ahead and create a character variable called my my care. And then we'll go ahead and create our uh, switch statement. So it's switch, then our expression. As an expression is a statement that returns a value. And we'll go ahead and do case A. We're just you know, familiar with all this stuff, right line, table less than A. Now uh, you know what? I'm going to save myself some time. Okay, C, and you can just follow along here. We'll do this whole thing called a default. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this and see what happens. C, thank you for attending. So if you notice here, we have our, you know, the beginning of the switch. Uh, again, we have our expression that turns the value, which is a C right now. It says, okay, is this thing here an A? No. So we'll go to B. Is this thing a B? No. Is it a C? Yes. Go ahead and perform that statement. And then here's that jump statement we're going to just break. And you'll see that 90, 99 times of 100, you're going to use this break statement. Um, so let's go ahead. Technically, just in, in our world, anything other than a C is not passing. So we'll go ahead and put a D here. We'll run this. And you'll notice that if it's not A, B, or C, uh, this is kind of the catch-all, the default. You did not pass. Um, and then it'll always say thank you for attending. So it's pretty simple, but you notice, you know, we have all this this logic here, and it's not a bunch of if statements. It's simply, you know, enumerating all these values and executing it, you know, essentially one by one. So what is this fall through thing here? Let's see here. Um, so what we'll do is uh, we'll go ahead and change that to this. Okay, and now we're going to remove this stuff here. Let's do a B. We'll run this, and it says you passed. And the reason for that is it'll check. Okay, if it's an A, it'll fall through to B. If it's a B, it'll fall through to C, and then at C, it'll run this statement. Now, if I put this stuff here and run it, let's see. No, it's going to go ahead and do the same thing. 
because it's going to because it's going to fall through, go to B, and then go down to C. Now, what's interesting is there can't be anything in here. So, if I copy this, and I have any, you know, remove this break, it'll give us an error. So, you just uh, let's see, cannot fall through from one case label to another. Well, that's if, if anything's here. So let's go ahead and remove this, and then it'll fall through properly there, and you'll see that uh, we get the answer we were looking for. Now, if one of our students gets an A, you know, we, we want to say they're great, and we also want to tell them they passed. So we'll just go ahead and replace this, you know, jump statement break with uh, go to case B. You know, and then that'll fall through, right? So if we have, I guess I should have showed you the previous. So we'll just go to break first. We'll go back to A, <coughs> and when we run it, it'll say, "You are great. Thank you for attending." But now what we want to do is say, "You are great. You passed," and then thank you for attending. So we'll move this break, or this remember that jump statement thing. We'll do go to case B, and we'll run it, you are great, okay, because it entered in here, you are great, go to case B, it fell through to C, and it says you passed, and then it says thank you for attending. So that's pretty much it for the switch statement. Uh, you can kind of see how it'll simplify uh, a lot of your code on some of your more complex uh, decisions with you know many different uh, outcomes. So thank you for joining us. Uh, if you have any comments or anything like that, please let us know and uh, we'll see you for the next lesson.